Hi Year 2, welcome to your writing lesson. For today's lesson you need your work pack with the sheet that has books around it, so it's your publishing sheet, and you need your letter from yesterday. You need a green pen for editing and you need a sharp pencil. Press pause now and make sure you have those things. So for you do now, I just want you to read through your letter from yesterday. Press pause and do that now. In today's lesson, you are going to be publishing your letter. Before you can publish, it's really important that we edit our letter to make sure it is ready for publishing. So in today's lesson, I've got a few mistakes. I want you to spot the mistake and then help me correct it. Once you've helped me with mine, you will then go and edit yours and then you'll be able to publish your letter to Julia Donaldson. So this is the first part of my letter. It's the address, the address here, and you can see the beginning of the first sentence that I was going to write. I want you to have a look and make sure you're happy with this part. If you are not, I want you to think about how I can improve it. Press pause and have a read through. Okay, let's have a look at the first sentence. It says 68 Carroll Street. We know that Carroll Street is the name of one specific place. So it is what kind of noun? It is a, it's a proper noun, well done. And we know that proper nouns need a capital letter. So let me just check, I have all of those. So 68, Carroll has a capital letter. Does street have a capital letter? No, it doesn't. So I need to correct that with my green pen. Park Road, are we happy with that? Oh, I'm hearing not happy. Park has a capital letter. And we know that road also needs a capital letter. So I've corrected that. So now let's have a look at the address D. I've got dear Mr. Jeffers. So Mr. Jeffers needs a capital letter because it's the name of one specific person. Mr. also needs a capital letter because it's the title. Let's have a look. Are we happy with that line? Oh, I'm hearing no's. I wonder what it's missing. What's that thing that we need in a letter after the name of the address D? It's called a a comma. I know that I need a comma. And then I go on to write my next sentence. My name is. So there's one rule in a letter and it only ever happens in a letter. After the comma, you start your next line with a capital letter. So it only happens here. So I've checked my proper nouns. I've made sure I've got the right punctuation and I've made sure that after Dear Mr. Jeffers and the comma, there's a capital letter. That's the only time that you would have a capital letter after a comma, unless it's a proper noun. Let's have a look at this section now. I'll read it to you and then you, you can correct it. I have loved reading your phenomenal books, including The Day the Crowns Quit, Lost and Found, The Heart and the Ball. Press pause now and have a look at if you're happy with that. So the thing I've used here is commas in a list. We know that commas separate items in a list, but there's something we need between the penultimate and the last item. Which word is it? It's the word and. Let me see if I have that. I have loved reading your phenomenal books, including The Day the Crown's Quit, Lost and Found, The Heart and the Bottle. Where does the and need to go? Have a think. Where does the and need to go? It needs to go in between. If you said it needs to go in between Lost and Found and The Heart and the Bottle, you are absolutely correct. I don't need a comma there because that's the last and the penultimate item. So we need an and to separate it. So when you check your work and you've listed items in a list, you need to make sure you have commas in between the items, but the penultimate and the last one needs the word and between it. Okay, last section, no penultimate section, sorry. Who inspires you? Who is your favourite author? Press pause now and check that you're happy with that. I'm hearing that some of us aren't happy with that. I wonder why. Who inspires you? Who is your favourite author? What kind of sentences are these? These are their questions. And we know that questions need to end with a, so that we know it's a question. So I know over here, I need to do a question mark. And over here. Do they all start with capital letters? They do, and they have question marks at the end. I'm just going to show you how a question mark needs to look. So if you're not sure about how your question mark needs to look, you can watch this part again. Now we're on to the last section. I have read your nice books. 
So this sentence has a capital letter and it has a full stop. I wonder what we can improve about it. Press pause now and have a think. So this sentence has been put in the, into this onto the screen for vocabulary choices. So the word nice is a word that doesn't really give a lot of information. You could say that the laptop is nice, the crayon is nice, her hair is nice, her, his clothes are nice. It doesn't give enough detail. So saying nice books isn't very complimentary of the author. You want to really compliment this author. So think about the vocabulary we discussed yesterday. We had words like amazing, brilliant, spectacular, phenomenal, creative. So those are lots of adjectives you can use instead of good or nice. I'm going to go with amazing. And I know that when I publish this, I'm not going to use the word nice, I'm going to use the word amazing. Now that you've helped me edit my work, it's time to edit your work. You need in front of you your letter that you wrote. And on this, you are going to use your green pen to edit the following. So you need to make sure there are capital letters in the right places. Capital letters go at the start of a sentence and they go at the start of proper nouns. You need to make sure you have the punctuation in the correct places. So you need full stops, commas where they need to go and question marks at the end of questions. You need to practice your sentences and check that they are complete ideas. So do they have all the pieces? Do they make sense? And then finally, look at your vocabulary choices. If you've used words such as good and nice, can you up-level them? Think about other words you can use that are more, much more complimentary. Once you've edited your work, so once you've got green pen all over this, then you can publish it with a nice sharp pencil with your best handwriting. Once you finish that, upload a picture onto Seesaw of your edited work and your published piece for your teachers to see. Have fun and see you all tomorrow. Bye.